The whole world is not taking action to reduce our greenhouse gas emissions. We need somebody to step up and be a leader. We need someone to, 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 be, to, to be the guinea pig, the green guinea pig. And so what I've blogged about is what I love about California's nascent AB 32 is that we, with our liberalism, our high income despite the recession, our high education, we are volunteering to be that guinea pig for the world. And I have asked the rhetorical question, are we a hero or are we a sucker? Why aren't we free riding like everybody else? And I think that we're a hero here. There's a question, a, 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 the, we, in capitalism, the hallmark of capitalism are new goods. Diet Coke, Blackberries, uh, my new book, hair pieces. Capitalism is always coming out with new products. We need somebody to experiment and buy the first generation of these products to give entrepreneurs an incentive to design these. If there was no market, and if nobody wanted an energy efficient car, no one would do the upfront research to come up with one. So California, in the, and once a good idea is discovered, it becomes a world public good that can diffuse to India, China, and everywhere. So the key, we need, we need the win-win of world economic growth and reduced greenhouse gas emissions. To uncouple greenhouse gas emissions from economic growth, we need game-changing new technologies. And those are only going to come about if some major economy, I wish it was the whole world with a, a, a cap and trade, but that's not happening. I wish it was the United States through credible carbon incentives. But I think that California can start this green chain reaction. And it will be easier to adapt to climate change if we take more efforts now.